I was born in Alaska and I lived there for the first four years of my life and I can remember building things out of snow, <laughs> which seems like something you would do in Alaska. The whole time I was growing up, I knew I was going to do something creative. I didn't know exactly what it was going to be. I always drew and painted and made things. Instead of trying to find the shadow, find the shape of the light. I love to tell students I actually failed my first painting class because it was so frustrating. I had spent my whole life thinking, you know, that painting was kind of the ultimate artistic expression that you know if I could learn to paint I'd be like Rubens and Rembrandt and all of those wonderful people and I can even remember visiting a museum with my mom when I was 16 and seeing an enormous Rubens painting and telling her oh I could do that so I had this confidence that then wasn't borne out when I actually got to a painting class and got a brush in my hand and tried to do it and it was so frustrating that I just gave up it took about four years off and then, um, probably about midway through that, I really started to miss doing those things and started painting a little bit on my own and finally decided to go back to school and it just clicked when I went back. I mean, that's not quite what you see out there. Mm -hmm. And so you're actually trying to show us something that doesn't exist. Art makes you see the world. It just absolutely comes to dominate every other part of your life. and. I, I go out in the morning and I look up and I think, how would I mix that color that I see in the sky? And I start thinking about ultramarine blue and a little bit of Prussian and some white. And so everything you see, everything you do, becomes a potential ingredient for your creativity. And do you remember, I said, don't be afraid also to glaze over this area, because I think- Teaching is incredible, you know, it's, such an opportunity to see the way that other people think and to try to help them navigate the kind of thorny road that is visual creativity. And so that may be something that you want to bring in. Because we work so closely with our students, especially in the department here, that you feel like your children are leaving when they leave. And I'm still in touch with so many of them and still watching them develop as artists. And I have students, I have a graduate student, I think she graduated about maybe eight or nine years ago. And she has said to me, you know, it takes me about three years to take something that you said to me and really understand it and implement it, <laughs> she said, and I can still hear your voice in my head. So, you know, that's fun to know that you are the voice, and hopefully it's a good voice, <laughs> but it's fun to know that you're the voice in someone's head and that they think of things that you said to them um, when they were a sophomore or a junior and that they still carry those things with them.